With me here I have Alan McKenzie from Mintech, all the way from South Africa. Good morning. Good morning to you. Welcome to uh, Canada. How are you doing? Other than being cold, fine, thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your company. Mintech is a South African government-owned metallurgical research and development organization. We were established about 80 years ago to help stimulate the minerals and mining sector within South and Southern Africa. So we're one of the largest and oldest metallurgical research facilities in the world. Um, we do government-funded research, but we actually also work on behalf of the industry and companies to try and help develop deposits, um, stimulate the industry globally. So we're here in Canada to talk to some of our pre-existing clients and to look for more customers. How has this show been for you so far? So far it's a little bit quiet. I think as everybody knows the, the industry is not at its best state at the moment. Mm -hmm. But we look at things for the long term and certainly over the long term the show has been very good for us. It's uh, definitely brought uh, business our way so that's why we continue to come. Um, have you also uh, uh, been uh, in other countries as far as like uh, uh, giving your services to other countries other than um, uh, Canada or United States, well, where else are you present? Well, being a state-owned company, we only have facilities in South Africa, but certainly we operate internationally. Um, probably about a third of our business comes from outside the African continent. So we work in Australia, we work in Russia, we work obviously in Africa and South Africa, Canada, South America, all over. There's really not a a mining regime globally where we haven't worked from time to time. Do you have a website? Certainly, yes. Uh, www.mintech, it's M-I-N-T-E-K, dot C-O dot Z-A. Well, I really appreciate your time and thank you uh, for coming here and have a good uh, trip back home. This is Zach Millardo reporting from Africa Trade Magazine, PDAC 2014, Toronto, Canada.